Hey, Ryan Michael Galloway. We don't need no stinking record company.com. We're talking venues and we're talking about 300 seat and up size venues right now. If you get big enough and you try to mount some large show like that. And I'm not even probably going to get into promotion this time. We're just talking about the logistics of trying to run a large concert with uh, this kind of a space. So uh, I got something really annoying for you to think about. And I don't know who you're going to call in your area, but almost always when you go rent some kind of a civic hall from somebody from some city somewhere and again we're talking you know probably 300 to 1500 seat auditoriums you are not only going to have to get you know people to handle the the you know the logistics like the ticket taking and the um, the, the uh, ushers like we talked about last night and security and stuff like that um, you are probably going to be required to buy event insurance for that evening and that requires contacting somebody who sells insurance in your area and again it's very possible that the person that manages that venue will send you there uh, contact somebody who sells insurance they don't sell the right kind of insurance get them to recommend the person who does sell the right insurance eventually you'll hook up with somebody who'll say yeah for X number of dollars we'll cover the liability in case somebody gets hurt, murdered, place burns down, whatever, that the liability is covered and you're not responsible for it and that the city or the entity you're renting from is not responsible for it either, that gets handled by the insurance company that pays off. They're not going to pay off very often, they're not going to have to. Um, they might require you not to use pyrotechnics. They might require you to have certain circuitry available and not overload them. They might require a certain number of exits and all the, and all those things be open and uh, accessible to people within the uh, auditorium. Uh, they might slap a whole bunch of rules on you so that it, it kind of mitigates every the danger to everybody. Um, I have seen those policies cost anywhere from uh, uh, oh say uh, three hundred and fifty dollars on up to a thousand. Uh, so that is going to be a significant cost and uh, it could make it prohibitive for you to try to do something like this because are you going to um, be able to attract enough people at five or ten or fifteen or twenty five dollars a ticket to uh, you know make up for the fact that you've got to cover that huge cost and you're still trying to make a profit right so I am Ryan Michael Galloway that's a little bit about event insurance and we don't need no stinking record company.com.